Hey, what's going on? Namir Haddad, the Tycoon Trader here. Welcome to a new video on options trading strategies. In this video, we'll be discussing a very simple yet very important and powerful strategy, if done correctly. Now, this strategy is none other than the protective put or sometimes called the married put. And you'll understand why once we get to it. So let's get started. The protective put strategy simply means that you have a long stock position and you buy a put option to protect your stock from any downside risk, hence the name protective put. And if you don't own the stock yet but planning to do so, you buy the stock and simultaneously buy a put option. That's where we get the name married put. Now in both cases your put strike price can vary depending on how protective you want to be. For example, if you think the stock is solid and won't fall in price that much, you can buy a cheap out of the money put option as a downside protection. But on the other hand, if you are afraid that the stock might fall significantly soon, you can buy an add the money or even in the money put option which is obviously more expensive but will give you more downside protection. So let's take a look at the market opinion. You are very bullish on your stock, that's why you own it and not planning on selling it anytime soon. However, you are afraid of a temporary decline in the stock. So think of the protective put as an insurance. If the stock keeps rising, you benefit from the upside gains. Yet no matter how low the stock might fall, you can either exercise the put to liquidate the stock at the strike price or sell the put back to the market and use that money to purchase more shares of the stock if you're still decidedly bullish. Now your maximum loss is limited and can be calculated in advance as the difference between the stock purchase price and the strike price minus the premium paid for the put option. In other words, it's basically any previous gains or losses on the stock minus the debit paid for the put option. Your maximum profit potential is unlimited to the upside, but keep in mind that you won't be making profit dollar to dollar like you would in a long stock position, and that's due to the debit paid for the put option. So basically, if you purchase a 100 shares of a stock and one put option, your delta will not be 100, it'll be less depending on how much you pay for the put option. Now your break-even point can be easily calculated in advance as such. However, this formula is only for a married put. In other words, it is applicable only when you purchase the stock and the put simultaneously. So this formula does not include any previous profit or loss in the stock in case it was purchased well in the past. And as for the Greeks, we obviously have a positive delta position. Time decay has a slightly negative to neutral impact on the strategy. Now as time goes by, your put option gets closer to its expiration date and will eventually expire worthless. But on the other hand, you make profit when the stock moves away from your put option. Now an increase in implied volatility would have a neutral to slightly positive impact on the strategy, all other things being equal. Remember that in general, an increase in implied volatility will increase the price of options. So if you already have a protective put, but no longer need it because you think the stock will rise sharply soon, you can sell back the put for a good price when the implied volatility is high. So let's have an example. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to set up the protective put strategy. Now uh, the first thing you need to understand is that uh, this is actually a long term strategy. In other words, you're going to be, uh, you're going to have to be okay, you know, with, uh, with acquiring or purchasing the stock and you must believe that the stock has a strong upward potential. So uh, let's take uh, BSX for example, you know, I've been following this stock for uh, for some time now and uh, this is actually, the, as you can see, the uh, the weekly chart. And as you can see, uh, it has, uh, you know, this uh, this upward uh, trend and uh, if uh, if you can see here, the volume is, uh, is very significant, you know, uh, we're dealing with, uh, with, million, with millions here. So, uh, as you can see, like I mentioned here, it's uh, it has this strong upward uh, trend, and uh, this is the first thing you need to pay attention to. You don't want a stock, you know, that's going uh, that's going down. So uh, right now it's trading around the uh, 22, 42 level, and if we take a closer look at the daily chart, you can see that here we have a rising window. So uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to uh, to to set up the uh, the trade with my put strike at the 21 uh, at the 21 level. So uh, let's see how that would look. All 
All right, uh, I, I'm not gonna, you know, uh, buy the uh, the May options because they only have 11 days till expiration. So I'm gonna try uh, to purchase the uh, the June options. Now remember, this uh, these are only this is for the put option only. As for but as for the stock, you know, uh, there's no uh, expiration for it. So uh, once the put option expires, you can uh, go ahead and uh, you know uh, to pur uh, and purchase another one uh, in the next month. But anyway, there are actually two ways to set up the protective put or the covered stock uh, strategy. The easy way is simply to right click and then buy and then covered stock. stock. And as you can see, you know, uh, this is the stock position here. Uh, it's uh, 100 shares and uh, automatically it's going to uh, it's going to be accompanied by one option contract, one put option. So if we increase it here to uh, two contracts, you know, it's going to increase another 100 shares. But uh, let's stick with the 100 the shares and see how the picture looks. So if we analyze the trade. All right. Uh, I think the picture looks very good. Uh, here, the maximum losses, as you can see, is almost uh, $140. And the total investment for this strategy is going to be uh, almost, uh, you know, uh, $2,200. So basically, we're paying $2,200 and uh, our maximum uh, loss potential to the downside is only $140. And uh, to me, this is not a bad deal, you know. Uh, on the other hand, if, uh, if you would have uh, purchased the stock without any protection, so for example, here we have only 100 shares without the put option. You see, if you analyze the, the trade, your loss to the, uh, to the downside is going to be quite significant. Uh, you know, uh, if, we, uh, if we move it here, because the stock can, uh, can go down all the way to zero. And as you can see here, the more we, uh, we go down, the bigger the loss is. That's why this is a very, very good strategy, you know, for uh, for a long term perspective. Now, there are basically, uh, you know, three outcomes you can expect with this strategy. The first thing is if the stock moves up, your put option is going to be uh, is going to expire worthless. And, uh, you know, uh, but you're going to realize uh, some gains. As you can see here, if we uh, move up 10 percent, uh, actually, you know what? Let me change it to uh, two dollars. Let's say if we move up by two dollars, we're gonna have a profit of uh, almost 170. And uh, the second outcome is basically if the stock moves down, uh, now your put option here, you can you can basically either exercise your put option and get rid of the stock for a total loss of 140 only. Or you can uh, simply, you know, cash in your put option because it's gonna be uh, it's, it's gonna be valuable now, you know, since it's uh, in the money. So you can sell it to the market for a profit and use that profit, you know, to purchase more shares and uh, and possibly, you know, uh, another uh, put uh, put option as a protection if you're still decidedly bullish on the, on the stock. Uh, but the third outcome is basically if the stock doesn't move at all. And what I usually do is basically just wait for one month for uh, for the stock to move. So if the stock doesn't move in in one month, you know, uh, neither up nor down, uh, I'm not going to stick around, you know, uh, I don't think there's any potential for it. Maybe I can wait for another month, but uh, that's up to you. So uh, yeah, the, this is uh, how you uh, set up the, uh, the covered stock uh, strategy. By the way, if you already own some shares in a particular stock, you can simply, you know, uh, buy a put option, but make sure to change the number of contracts, you know, to, uh, to cover for uh, all the shares that you have. And in this case, if you're buying uh, put options as protection, you know, for the existing stocks that you have, uh, I think you might need to, uh, to notify your broker that this is a, uh, a merit put position in case you want to exercise the put option, you know, if the stock moves down. Uh, so yeah, you need to check with your broker All right, then that's it for this video. Thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it Keep in mind that we didn't go through extensive details of the protective put We only covered the basics because you can do a lot with this strategy Especially if you have large amounts of capital that you'd like to put into a long-term investment 
And as always, if you're willing to take your options trading experience to the next level, check out my ultimate strategy course at my website optionstycoon.com. All the links are in the description below. So until then, trade safely, smartly, and successfully.